Please be seated. A warm welcome to each of you this morning. Uh, I'm John Williams, and it's an honor for me to serve as Dean of the Indiana University School of Dentistry. This group looks marvelous. Let's give them a round of applause, huh? Now, little did I know when we first met at Bradford Woods about a little over a month ago when they were in their t-shirts and uh, sneakers, uh, they clean up so well. So you look really good, really good this morning. Fantastic. I want to welcome all of you to our annual white coat ceremony, which traditionally uh, is held for first year students who've completed their course of study in professionalism and ethics. This year, these first year students are joined by our second class of the International Dentist Program. The IDP program, as it's known, uh, allows uh, individuals to assume advanced standing uh, who will study dentistry and receive their degree from Indiana University and then move on in their professional career. We're honored to have all of our students with us today. This is a special time for these young men and women who have chosen to study the profession of dentistry. They've made a conscious decision to enter a professional life of service and a commitment to lifelong learning and to abide by the highest ethical principles of our profession. They have been looking forward to this day, and it's important for us to pause from the rigors of study, from the rigors of preparation, examination, and evaluation, to step back and acknowledge the significance of this occasion. I would like to reference several components of an oath, which this class, uh, both classes actually have prepared, and they will be reciting today as part of this ceremony. We are called upon as members of the health profession to do a number of things. First, we put others above ourselves. We commit ourselves to lifelong learning, realizing that there are only a limited, there's only a limited amount of time and information that we can receive or disseminate as faculty during your formal education. The profession of dentistry, like all of healthcare, continues to change and change daily. We have new evidence-based scientific discoveries, things that were held uh, as inviolate through scientific research are shown to be otherwise, and we have to adapt and change. It's incumbent upon each of us in our professional life to do the very best we possibly can for our patients by staying current and continuing to enhance our knowledge and skills. Please, I ask you, stay true to our profession and never let your patients down. A commitment to lifelong learning and service is paramount. Their oath will talk about the sacred duty to teach the public. As health professionals, you'll be a teacher, encouraging your patients to improve their overall health and their oral health. The value of oral health for individuals is a priceless possession. It facilitates the ability to speak as well as feel good about oneself, ability to hold jobs, and ability to enjoy food. Your commitment is also very much intrinsically tied to the professional ethics of the American Dental Association, of the Indiana Dental Association, and other dental associations, organizations, and societies. You'll hear through our speaker this morning, uh, Dr. David Matthews, and also throughout uh, the curriculum at the school, the importance of serving as an ethical practitioner because it is the bedrock upon which our profession is grounded. We call upon you to lend your support and influence to dental education. Some of you may be interested in pursuing a career in dental academics, research, or public service, public health. A variety of options await you, and I encourage you to think about opportunities that lie ahead. We're honored to have a number of our faculty uh, joining us today in this ceremony, and I salute their continued commitment, many of them life, ter lifelong commitment uh, to the academic improvement of our profession. And finally, your oath will talk about a commitment to service. I always encourage students to think about taking care of their loved ones. Is that what is the care that you provide, is the preparation that you have, you have made for this patient encounter? Is this what your mother, father, other loved ones uh, would have you do? Think of that in that context, and that will serve you well uh, to keep you ever diligent uh, to move forward. 
It's now my pleasure to introduce Ms. Beverly Cunningham, President-Elect of the Indiana University American Student uh, uh, Dental Association. Ms. Cunningham. Thank you, Dean Williams. All right, hello. Um, my name is Beverly Cunningham, and I'm a second year student student here at IU School of Dentistry. And I serve as president-elect of the Indiana University chapter of the American Student Dental Association, or IU ASDA. I would like to welcome the class of 2018 and the International Dentist Program class of 2016 to the IUSD family and congratulate each one of you on your achievements thus far. Exactly one year ago, I was in your shoes, or rather in your seat, as a first year dental student. And I remember a series of activities that helped me reflect on what it meant to be part of a profession. Over the past year, I've learned that an important component of dentistry is the voice of people of this profession. And ASDA serves as the voice of dental students. My involvement, even as a first year student, allowed me to look beyond the walls of the classroom. Last year, I had the opportunity to travel to Chicago for the National Leadership Conference and also serve as a delegate at ASDA annual session in California. Both memorable experiences served as an on-ramp for me to get more involved in advocacy and future leadership within the chapter. On a local, regional, and national level, as the students just like you are taking, are taking a united front approach on legislation involving dental the dental licensure process, access to care, mid-level providers, and dental education financing. Through my involvement in ASDA, I have been immersed in a network of dental students across the nation, passionate about advocating for, for the profession that we love. Whether it's through IU ASDA or the several other national and local dental organizations, I challenge you all to explore the realm of organized dentistry. The entire class of 2018 and IDP class of 2016 is now a member of the American Student Dental Association, but your dedication and involvement is a personal decision. Part of ASDA's strategic plan is to be a premier professional and leadership development resource for its members. I urge all of you to consider the vast opportunities and resources for, that ASDA offers, as well as the impact that we can make within our profession to best serve our future patients. Please continue to support IU ASDA, and I look forward to seeing you all at an upcoming ASDA event. Once again, congratulations, and have a great first year. Thank you. Beverly, thank you, and I would certainly want to echo, uh, as the chapter sponsor, faculty uh, advisor, uh, I want to compliment uh, Beverly and her colleagues for the great work that the as the student chapter here at IU does, and so encourage each of you to think about actively becoming involved in that uh, in that organization. It's now my pleasure to introduce one of our state leaders in uh, in dentistry, Dr. David Matthews. Uh, Dr. Matthews was born in Decatur, Indiana, graduated from uh, Monmouth High School, and obtained his Bachelor of Science degree in Mechanical Engineering at Purdue University in the early 70s. He completed his Doctor of Dental Surgery degree in 1979, and his Master of Science degree in Preventive Dentistry in the early 80s here at Indiana University School of Dentistry. He's held many positions of service uh, in a variety of capacities, both within the state and region, uh, and is currently serving as the statewide uh, president of the Indiana section of the American College of Dentists. And it's indeed my pleasure to uh, introduce a friend and a colleague, uh, not only to this school, but to me personally, Dr. David Matthews, who will bring our message today. Please. Dean Williams, School of Dentistry faculty, Indiana Dental Association past president, Dr. Diamond, 
the class of 2018, and guests. The American College of Dentists is the oldest major honorary organiza organization for dentists. Founded in 1920, it was formed to elevate the standards of dentistry, to encourage graduate study, and to grant fellowship to those who have done meritorious work. The American College of Dentists has long been regarded as the conscience of dentistry. Our mission is to advance excellence, ethics, professionalism, and leadership in dentistry. I know that Dr. Guerrero has worked with you, the class of 2018, in the T520 Introduction to the Professions course to develop the significance of the white coat and the implicit promise one makes in wearing it relative to both ethics and professionalism. Today is a significant day, as you are formally welcomed into the profession of dentistry. The white coat is a symbol of many things. It represents your promise to maintain a level of knowledge that gives you the privilege to treat patients and render care for them. It represents the responsibility that rests on your shoulders to make decisions about what is appropriate care for a patient in a particular situation. The important thing is the character of the person wearing the white coat, not the privilege to wear it. Your perspective will change. When you graduate, you will see things differently than today. Two personal examples come to my mind. When I was a small boy, I remember a hill in our front lawn. There has been no landscaping in the lawn since where I grew up. Today, I look at this area in adult stature and say, what hill? My perspective has changed. Likewise, in the early 1980s, a movie came out titled The Andromeda Strain. When I first saw the movie, it was an entertaining film. After I took a course in microbiology, it was like seeing a totally different movie. The science fiction thriller dealt with viruses and health threats to the world. Similar real life viruses affect our world today. My perspective had changed. So will yours as you learn many things in the next four years. Yes, the next four years. You will forge lifelong friendships. I was in a unique situation, 65th alphabetically out of a class of 129. 64 before me, 64 after me. As a result, sometimes at that point, I was in section one, sometimes in section two. I knew all of my classmates very well. Today, you study alphabetically in small discussion groups. The bond is the blood, sweat, and tears that you will experience together during dental school. I recently had my 35-year dental school reunion. I saw one classmate I hadn't seen for 35 years. He lives in Hawaii, I hadn't seen him. Yet it was like I just saw him yesterday. There was no awkwardness. It was great to see him. Our international students taking part in the ceremony today have likely already experienced this bond. My dental school years were probably the best four years of my life. So many memories of the fun times we had as well as the serious study times. As you prepare yourself these next four years again, you will shoulder responsibility. One, defini one definition of responsibility is that you must be able to respond after graduation to the clinical challenges, the staff challenges, and the community challenges. You will be expected to be a respected member of the community in which you live and practice dentistry. Remember, it is an honor and privilege to practice dentistry, not a right. The level of trust extended to you is unbelievable. How often have I met a new patient in pain, taken a medical history, and then ended up administering a local anesthetic to relieve pain? The level of trust is amazing. The pa a patient in pain will allow a stranger to inject a drug into their bodies. They know for a dentist to have an office open to the public, one must have been trained and passed the necessary requirements to obtain a dental license. Again, trust is an amazing concept, an earned one, not to be betrayed. In treating patients, common sense prevails. Do no harm is one rule. The golden rule says, do unto others as ye would that they would do unto you. The platinum rule says, do unto others as they would want you to do unto them. There are limitations to the platinum rule. You wouldn't do something they requested as flat out wrong, treatment wise. I've always been interested in, in history. As the class of 2018, you will be preparing yourselves to leave your mark on dentistry. Tom Brokaw, Tom Brokaw has written a book called The Greatest Generation. 
If you haven't read it, please do so. It showcases people who have left their mark on the world. They were committed to their cause during World War II. Remember, commitment is the willingness to be uncomfortable to produce results. World War I has given us the poem in Flanders Fields. The third stanza reads, Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you, from failing hands we throw. The torch be yours to hold it high. If you break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders Fields. You will be the ones to catch the torch, the torch of the profession of dentistry, from those of us who will pass through time. Just like in the Olympic Games, you will be the torch bearers. You will stand on the shoulders of those who have come before you. Achieve greatness in whatever avenue of dentistry you choose, whether it be private practice, academia, the military, or public health. You cannot achieve perfection, but you should strive for excellence. You will be the next generation of dentists. In time, I challenge you to give back give back as mentors to younger dentists. From the Journal of the American College of Dentists, Spring 2014, a mentor's purpose is to help develop the qualities that another individual, the protege or mentee, needs to attain his or her professional goals. Mentors provide their protege with knowledge, advice, counsel, support, and the opportunity to better position themselves to attain success in the dental profession. To help their mentees learn the ropes and attain the wisdom only a seasoned veteran can pass along about the fundamental assumptions and values of a profession's culture, mentoring is not a science but an art. It is often not merely knowing what to say, but how and when to say it. The mentor and mentee have different professional goals, and to compound the relationship, both present with varied life experiences and in many cases from diverse cultures. Mentors serve as coach, teacher, guardian, protector, and kindly parent. Mentors share wisdom and promote the mentee's career. Give back to charities and, in and of your time in community activities. Give back to your dental school. Your education is the key to the door of opportunity. You will have a chance to make a difference in people's lives and be involved in your profession. I once saw this phrase on a mailed receipt for office merchandise. There are no traffic jams on the extra mile. Go the extra mile in all that you do. I dedicated my master's thesis to my parents for the sacrifices they made for me, known and unknown. Be sure to thank your parents and or spouses for their sacrifices for you. For me, every day is a day of thanksgiving. Be thankful for the blessings in your life I'm doing something I absolutely love every day. It has its challenges and rewards and personal satisfaction. I know I'm providing a worthwhile service. That should be your goal also. Again, be thankful for the blessings in your life. In closing, I wish all of you success as you progress through your dental school, education, and careers. God bless all of you. God bless the Indiana University School of, of Dentistry and God bless America. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Matthews, for those inspiring words and words that we can reflect on and renew our commitment to our profession, uh, along with our students who are entering the profession this day. It's now my privilege to um, introduce this time where the students will come forward to the stage where we symbolically place the white coat on their shoulders, signifying their entry into the dental profession. They'll be assisted today with several individuals who I would call their name uh, to come forward to the stage and, and assist in this process. Uh, Dr. Matthews, if you'll return to the stage, please, sir. Uh, it's my privilege to inter introduce uh, a dear colleague, Dr. Desiree Diamond, uh, the immediate past president of the Indiana Dental Association. Dr. Diamond, thank you for being with us. Uh, Dr. Brooke Adams, uh, faculty liaison and a member of our full-time faculty. Uh, she's faculty liaison to the class of 2018. 
an assistant professor in the Department of Restorative uh, Dentistry. Uh, Dr. Jeff Platt, uh, also a faculty liaison to the class of 2018. Uh, Dr. Platt uh, is an eminent scholar in dental materials, uh, a very stalwart member of the Indiana Dental Association, uh, and serves uh, at the highest level with the American Dental Association as a member on the Council of Scientific Affairs. Uh, Dr. Platt, welcome. Nice to see you this morning. And Dr. Lisa Willis, uh, also a faculty liaison to the class of 2018, an assistant professor also in the uh, Department of Restorative Dentistry. And so Dr. Willis, nice to see you this morning and joining us as well. We, in addition, um, the individuals who came in as a group, uh, we've uh, invited them to participate. They represent uh, their affiliation with various uh, health professions. Uh, these individuals are parents, family members, mentors of our students uh, who we've also invited to assist in placing the white coats uh, on you today so they can enjoy this special day uh, as, as much as you do moving forward. So the process is this, uh, the students will come forward by row and in groups of five, and I presume you can count to five at this point, if you got to this point in dental school. Uh, if you can't, that will tell, tell me something on this stage right here. Uh, and at this time, I would invite um, the uh, individuals who will serve as, as cloakers to follow them uh, on the stage. So when your uh, individual you're going to cloak, if you'll just come from your seat and join us over here. So you do have a bit of uh, participation in this for each of our students. And that is, as you come forward, you just come to the podium, take your time, there's no hurry. Uh, the food will wait, we'll be there. Uh, clearly introduce your name, uh, your hometown and your state uh, and or country uh, from, of, of origin uh, so we can get to know you on a more personal level uh, as you come across the stage. So at this time, I would invite the first five, uh, the class of 2018, uh, to come forward and uh, the cloakers as well. Yasmin Afshar from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Jillian Albee, Pembroke, New Hampshire. My name is Abdul Jalil Al Hajjaj. I'm from Dearborn, Michigan, originally from Iraq. Hunter Allen, Salem, Indiana. Nabil Atasi, Chicago, Illinois. Rebecca Bear, Chicago, Illinois. Ashley Benson, Zionsville, Indiana. Julie Bertolet, Greenwood, Indiana. Jayanthi Bahitharan, Madison, Wisconsin. Marcus Biggs, Valparaiso, Indiana. John Bixler, Decatur, Indiana. Josh Blaine, Abbotsford, British Columbia, Canada. Sky Bauer, Warren, Indiana. Danielle Bube, Ramsey, Indiana. Sarah Beadle, Evansville, Indiana.
Wesley Bircham, Mitchell, Indiana. Jason Burns, Phoenix, Arizona. Joshua Burns, Macomb, Michigan. Leslie Burris, Waldron, Indiana. Bryce Chambers, Plainfield, Indiana. Rohit Chaudhary, Schaumburg, Illinois. Devin R. Clark, Salt Lake City, Utah. Liz Closerto, South Bend, Indiana. Derek Horn, Bloomfield, Indiana. Clinton Covert, Sunman, Indiana. Carson Dow, McGrath, Alberta, Canada. Christopher Dawson, Raleigh, North Carolina. Vanessa Dawson, Scottsdale, Arizona. Jenny DeBlau, Chesterfield, Michigan. Cyrus Austin Deem, Washington, Indiana. Bowden, Hallen, Indiana. Lun Ang Do, San Diego, California. Kevin Downey, Michigan City, Indiana. Sam Driggers, Avon, Indiana. Jessica Friedman, Avon, Indiana. Jared Gearhart, Hope, Indiana. Caleb Gilman, Farmersburg, Indiana. Lauren Grothaus, Kokomo, Indiana. Brent Hale, Richmond, Virginia. Ethan Hamer, Indianapolis, Indiana. Harmon, Crawfordsville, Indiana. Michael Hogberg, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Joseph Holland, Indianapolis, Indiana. Alyssa Hollowell, Roanoke, Indiana. Jillian Joyce, Crown Point, Indiana.
Hussam Azafar Ismail Kamal, London, Ontario, Canada. Maureen Kingori, Muncie, Indiana. Trent Kirkwood, Greenfield, Indiana. Sarah Knuffelkamp, Mineralville, Indiana. Stephen Kobeck, Valparaiso, Indiana. Matthew Lancaster, West Lafayette, Indiana. <laughs> Selena Lee, Louisville, Kentucky. Emma Lickley, Decatur, Indiana. Joseph Logan, Logansport, Indiana. Reinhard Lugelia, Wichita, Kansas. Christopher Lukasik, DeMont, Indiana. Hi, my name is Evangeline Magno and I'm from Valparaiso, Indiana. Anissa Mahmoudin, Annapolis, Indiana. Patrick Mangan, Chicago, Illinois. Sudariman, Fresno, California. Eric Matsuno, Los Angeles, California. Patrick, Patrick McIntyre, Munster, Indiana. Tanner McKinley, Mooresville, Indiana. Brianne Mazel, Jackson, Michigan. Paul Montagna, Charlottesville, Virginia. Kelsey Musquinski, South Bend, Indiana. Alexandra Murphy, Fishers, Indiana. Talu Mien, Brownsburg, Indiana. Jong Tae Oh, Seoul, South Korea. Joshua Valdo Oliari, Riverwoods, Illinois. Byron Palmer, Pleasant Grove, Utah. Phenol Pandia, Indianapolis, Indiana.
Amber Parker, Centerville, Indiana. Ori Oliver Pence, Noblesville, Indiana. Nicholas Persichetti, West Edford, New Jersey. Christine Phillips, Valdosta, Georgia. Frank Lipino, Miami, Florida. Andrew Power, Indianapolis, Indiana. Matthew Raskin from Long Island, New York. Adrian Rungi, Speedway, Indiana. Grant Ryan Fishers, Indiana. Patrick Sarger, Mesa, Arizona. Caitlin Schneider, Lafayette, Indiana. Lisa Schneider, Noblesville, Indiana. AJ Singh, Crown Point, Indiana. Allison Stamer from Carmel, Indiana. I'm Ryan Sutton from Jasper, Indiana. My name is Bridget Swope and I'm from Valparaiso, Indiana. Craig Terry, Bedford, Indiana. Brian Thompson, Fort Wayne, Indiana. James Thompson, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Jesse Chan, Carmel, Indiana. Alexander David Boris, Fishers, Indiana. Um, Catherine Winkle, Maryland, originally from France. Audrey Welkland, Noblesville, Indiana. Logan, Logan Wheeler again from Muncie, Indiana. <laughs> Haley Wilson, Jasper, Indiana. Ariel Wong, Carmel, Indiana. David Woodward, Owensboro, Kentucky. Brittany Woshitz, Anderson, Indiana.
Jennifer Wu, Seattle, Washington. Jake Yeager, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Stephen Yap, Mesa, Arizona. Cynthia Zubiak, Greenwood, Indiana. Over the past several weeks, the class has worked together under the direction of Dr. Bill Babbler, and Dr. Babbler is right here. Would you stand to be recognized for your leadership? I do want to take a, a, mo a personal privilege and just acknowledge uh, Dr. Babbler's many years of contribution to the School of Dentistry. He will be retiring later this fall, and Bill, I want to personally uh, express my appreciation to you on behalf of the faculty and the, and the staff of the School of Dentistry for your many years of leadership to the school and also working with our students, and wish you Godspeed in the next chapter of your life. In Texas, that's where he's headed. So thank you very much. So over the past several weeks, the class has worked uh, with Dr. Babbler to create a class mission statement. They formulated this statement into their own dentist pledge, which is located on the back of your program. I now invite uh, Christopher, da Christopher Dawson, who has been uh, the newly elected or is the newly elected president of the class of 2018 to come forward and lead the class in reciting the pledge. Christopher, please. All right, class of 2018, I'd ask you please stand up and we will begin reciting our class mission statement. We, the Indiana University School of Dentistry, class of 2018, honor the professional and societal expectations of our field, as well as the legacy of those who came before us. We commit ourselves to promoting integrative relationships with our peers in the common pursuit of advancing our profession. We will be invested members of our communities, as well as health care providers. We will provide quality care for all in need, and we will advocate for the health of our communities. We will hear the voices of our patients and serve in a compassionate, selfless, and honest manner. Furthermore, we will educate our patients while devoting ourselves to lifelong learning necessary to best serve our communities and profession. We will pursue excellence in all our endeavors and will uphold the standards of dentistry. With these principles as our guide, we pledge this professional oath. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, well, I already see you. I already see you. Yeah. Thank you. Good. I was giving Christopher a little coaching about, he said, please be seated. He said, oh, they're already seated. So this is leadership and <laughs> leadership in action. So I appreciate that. Very, very good. Very good. Now I'd like to invite uh, Dr. Melanie Peterson, who serves as our assistant dean for admissions and student affairs and as director of the International Dentist Program to join me on the stage. We'll invite the students from our second class of the IDP program, the class of 2016, uh, to come forward and participate in the White Coat Ceremony as well. We'd also like to ask uh, Dr. Drs. Adams, Platt, and Willis uh, to join us back on stage, if you will, please. The same uh, criteria applies when you come forward, students, uh, introduce your, your name and um, the city uh, and country from which you originate. Thank you.
فرقة كمال أبو عودة نابلس باليستاين أرسني بوثروس بورت سايد إيجيبت غارو ديساي آنن إنديا كروبا ديساي أمداباد إنديا Ahmed Elham, Toronto, Canada. Mika Jain, Punjab, India. Farbo Jalili, Tehran, Iran. Samira Jamil, Islamabad, Pakistan. Nupur Patel, Gujarat, India. Kirolos Riyad, Cairo, Egypt. Milan Shade, Baroda, India. Apurva Shukla, Calcutta, India. Mona Singh, Punjab, India. thank the cloakers here with this completes this segment and I want to congratulate our uh, IDP class of 2016 for their uh, entry into the dental profession. Dr. Babo has also worked with this class to uh, create their own dental oath and I now invite um, Dr. Muhammad Alham to come forward and lead uh, this presentation. Okay, I'd like to, uh, as the, as a representative of the IDP class of 2016, I would like to thank all the family members here and also the friends for coming and attending and celebrating this memorable day of our lives. If I could ask our IDP uh, colleagues to stand up, please, help me recite our pledge. As international dentists from various cultures and backgrounds, our mission is to advance our knowledge and skills to ethically serve the local and global community in all relevant areas of oral health care. We will strive to be competent leaders and aim to contribute in research and academics for the advancement of the dental profession to ensure the highest standard of care. Thank you. Please be seated. So ladies and gentlemen, this is a great looking group, right? Yeah, I'd invite all of our new initiates to stand up. Let's give you a round of applause, Eric. Turn around, turn around. So this is a little exercise, so now you may be seated for just a few more minutes. We're just about, just about wrapping up here. 
I'd like to, uh, in closing, I'd like to thank again uh, Dr. Matthews for being with us today and for your very meaningful words of inspiration uh, to your commitment to our profession and leading by example. And David, I really do appreciate the time you spent with us. I would also like to thank the faculty and staff for their participation today um, and also would like to acknowledge the wonderful working relationship that the School of Dentistry enjoys with the Indiana Dental Association, Dr. Diamond representing that association, so thank you very much. Um, we we'll look forward to continuing that relationship. Uh, Theta Theta chapter of the Omicron Kappa Upsilon National Dental Honor Society uh, participated in supporting this event and I'd like to thank our colleagues, the White River Brass Quintet. I understand you all have a new name, gentlemen, is that right? Good. <laughs> it provided the wonderful music for us, not only today, but uh, in previous ceremonies. Uh, so thank you very much for your participation. I'd also like to acknowledge uh, Lucy Bickett, uh, who I know is here. She's been very instrumental. She's in the back of the room, uh, Lucy. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, and my technical uh, ex expertise back here on the, uh, the panel back here, Terry Wilson, good to see you as always. And so at this point, we um, will invite all of you uh, to join us uh, immediately uh, outside of the auditorium here for a reception uh, to congratulate uh, your loved ones and, uh, and colleagues. And I thank you very much for joining us this morning. Uh, this is a, a very uh, symbolic and a very important ceremony for us and for these young men and women who have chosen uh, to enter the, de the dental profession. Uh, and I salute each one of you. I expect big things from each of you. And the opportunity is wide open. So go for it, but do it in a professional and ethical manner. That's the charge. So with that, um, We'd like a little music, I believe, and we were going to have the, uh, our uh, recipients of the White Coats today be escorted out, and then it would invite the rest of the uh, uh, members of the uh, audience to join us for reception. So again, congratulations to the class of 2018 and the IDP class of 2016. Thank you.